What's up everybody? Travis here with Nookie Hookers again and uh, today we're going to do a how-to tutorial on changing a propeller out on the Merc 115 CT and my model's a 2018. Um, I got into the rocks a little bit uh, at the boat launch the other day and you can see I dinged her up pretty good. And these aluminum props, they just, they just can't take it. I mean it was at a low RPM just uh, like I said, idling at the boat launch before I was getting ready to put the boat on the trailer. Just, just did a number on it pretty good. So what we're gonna do is, is we've got exchangeable hub system, uh, oh, 202. And this comes with everything you need. I'm gonna keep my spare, this uh, aluminum prop for a backup. But we went ahead and got this exchangeable hub system, the 202 from Mercs. This is what it shows it fits here of course we are mercury mariner outboard 40 to 300 horsepower so this deal here and uh went up to uh, precision propeller up in spokane talked to darren got set up with this power tech can't really see it there it's pretty shiny stainless steel now my old prop is a 15 inch 17 pitch and it's the black max but you can see maybe in here is where it says 15 17 you can barely see it so i've already got started um i'm going to a 14 and a quarter 17 inch so or 17 pitch 14 and a quarter inch instead of the 15 inch 17 pitch Darren says that's going to give me a little bit like three to five more miles an hour but just a lot more durable and get the rpms where they need to be so okay guys so what you're going to want to do is i've already removed this nut but these little tabs right here there's a tab right here and there's one on the other side as well they're folded up against this nut to keep it that's a keeper to keep it in place so what you're going to do is is you're going to inch and a 16th take that off use a piece of wood um a one inch two by two inch two by four something like that stick it up here when you're taking that off um, and then this whole thing will slide right off take your prop off all the guts will stay in it especially with the the uh, exchange hub system it's nice um this is your uh forward thrust washer and then your um exchange hub system it'll come with a new one so you might have to give it a little tap with uh with a rubber mallet but this will come off I'll go ahead and set that with the old one okay guys what you're going to do is you're going to take out of your um, exchange hub system you're going to take what they call the cushion hub which is this black piece here and you're going to take your aft drive adapter and you're going to split these two okay and you'll set your aft drive adapter off to the side um, first things first, you're going to take your, your new forward thrust washer and it's going to have, you're going to want this inserted piece. That's going to go on here like so. We're not going to put that on just yet because what you're going to do is you're going to take your cushion hub and on the back side of your prop, you're going to slide that in this piece first. You're going to slide it in. Okay. That's in there like that. Um, and then what we're going to want to do is we're going to take and put that on a piece of wood here. And we want to drive this in so that our forward thrush washer sits flush on the inside of there. So, so you're going to take your um, forward thrush washer, get it lined up give it a good whack till your um, your cushion hub is inserted and seated all the way in there okay i'm gonna go ahead and take your deal there which is your forward thrust washer slide it on your shaft there okay so we're gonna do is take your uh, aft drive adapter and you're going to set it in there give it a good little tap get it seated in there you got your 
forward thrust washer that's going to slide into your cushion hub and your propeller slide your new propeller on that should be seated up on there nice and snug nice and firm we're going to go ahead and take our uh, locking tab washer gonna slide it in there Take our new inch and a sixteenth nylock nut, get it started. And we will get our inch and a sixteenth in our torque wrench here. Make sure we're going the right way. And again, use your piece of wood okay so what we're gonna go ahead and do is we're gonna tighten up our nut to the 55 foot pounds where it needs to be and then we're gonna fold those tabs in so that'll hold that nylock in place without letting it back off when you put it in reverse so the propeller doesn't come off and go in the drink. Um, you don't need to over tighten it. 55 pounds is all you really need. And then, so I hit my 55 foot pounds of torque on the uh, propeller, the, the nylock nut on the shaft there. And now what we'll do is I'll go ahead and you can see these tabs sticking up there's a slot uh, when you get where you need to be and we'll go ahead and fold those down and you're done so i hope that helped you out guys i've never done one before it was pretty easy um again uh, if you're local in washington uh precision propeller uh darren over there in spokane he's uh pretty knowledgeable about what he knows about propellers and whatnot and you know this merc 115 ct I need to get a few more miles an hour. I got plenty of hole shot coming out of the hole, but went ahead, went to a 14 and a quarter inch, 17 pitch, so still the same pitch. And um, we're gonna give this a try. And uh, and and he's pretty good. He says, you know, run it max RPMs with a light load, document it, tell him what it is, and if it's not right, it's not working right, he'll take care of you. He says so. $386 for a prop on a hub system. Uh, that's pretty dang good in my opinion. So. Hope this helped you guys all out. Um, like, comment, subscribe, share. Uh, and again, I uh, appreciate your guys' support. Thanks.